proceed with opening statements, we do have a few pre-trial matters to attend to. Sure. Uh, first, permission to make appearances for the record. Absolutely. Good morning. My name is Stephanie Henschel, and I will be giving the closing argument in today's case. Uh, to my right is Ms. Jaleesa Harris. Good morning. And to my left is Ms. Elisa Hollins. Uh, good morning, Your Honor. She'll be giving the opening statement in today's case. And together, we represent the state in today's proceedings. Your Honor, I do have a few documents to tender to the bench. I first have a copy of the special instructions, as well as the stipulations agreed to by both parties. I also have a copy of the order of motions previously ruled on by Judge Butler, as well as available case law, simply for Your Honor's reference. A permission to approach opposing counsel and then tender these to the bench. Sure. Drawing the court's attention to that very top document, which is the special instructions, we just ask that the court take notice that the state is required to pursue two counts against the defendant in today's case. The first is robbery in the first degree, and the second is the lesser included offense of theft by deception. Okay. In your honor's preferences for moving about the well, would you like us to ask permission before approaching opposing counsel, the witness, or your honors? Uh, please move about freely. You only need to ask to approach opposing witnesses. Yes, Your Honor. And considering that this is constructively a jury trial, uh, would you like us to address both statements and objections to the bench? Uh, yeah, as best you can, just direct it now so we can see it. Yes, Your Honor. And at this time, the state moves to invoke Rule 615, which is the constructive sequestration of all witnesses except for a party representative. And the state's party representative today would be Officer Francis Kimball. He is not at the table, but he is present in courtroom today. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Good afternoon, or good morning. Um, and I'm assuming the defendant. Yes, yes Your Honor. Mr. Whitfeldman. Yes, he is constitutionally uh, allowed. Uh, anything else from the prosecution? No, Your Honor. With that, the state's ready to proceed. Anything from the defense? Yes, Your Honor. May we make appearances before the court? Absolutely. Good morning, Your Honor. My name is Alexander Burke, along with my co counsel, Katie Trina. Good morning. And Arjun Sharma. Good morning, Your Honor. We represent the defendant in today's case. Mr. Whit Bowman. We have two additional documents to tender to the bench, the notice of intent to offer character evidence and the Midlands Rules of Evidence for your reference as they do vary slightly from the Federal Rules of Evidence. Permission to approach opposing counsel on the bench in turn. Furthermore, Your Honor, we ask that you take judicial notice of stipulation number three, which states that Cameron Poole is unavailable as a witness today. Okay. And finally, we also ask that you take note that today's trial is bifurcated, meaning that only aspects of guilt and not sentencing be taken into account. And with that, the defense is ready to proceed. All right. Let me see. 